All right, so we have some big news in Linux gaming today, and that is Epic Games announced full easy anti-cheat support for Linux, including Wine and Proton. So if you didn't know, Epic Games owns Easy Anti-Cheat, and earlier this year they made it freely available for developers for Windows platforms to integrate it with games. But today it has been fully expanded for developers to natively support it on Linux games as well as Mac OS. Now this is absolutely huge, and this is the type of news that we were looking forward to as the Steam Deck is being uh, developed, produced, and is going to be hitting these shelves this holiday season. Or in not really shelves, you had to pre-order the thing. If you try to pre-order it now, good luck. Now this isn't gonna be an automatic thing, so I don't think of as of like right now, you could go ahead and download Fall Guys or something like that on a Linux machine, but it's going to be very easy for the developers to incorporate this into the games. So we're gonna see this rolling out probably quicker than we could have imagined. What I have open right here is uh, gamingonlinux.com. If you're at all into gaming, I do recommend you follow this website, either their Twitter or RSS, wonderful resource. But if we go over here, we can see the actual announcement from dev.epicgames.com. And we can see that Epic Games Online Services launches anti-cheat support for Linux, Mac, and the Steam Deck. I'm incredibly excited. But mostly because I I just want to play Fall Guys without having to boot into Windows. That that would be magnificent for me. So if we, if we scroll down here, it says to make it easy for developers to ship their games across PC platforms, support for Wine and Proton compatibility layers on Linux is included. Starting with the latest SDK release, developers can activate anti-cheat support for Linux via Wine or Proton with just a few clicks in the Epic Online Services Developer portal. So it's not even going to be that much work for these game developers to do that. So if there is a game that you want to support Linux, just not don't spam them, but tell them, hey, let's enable this and get going. If we uh, if we go back over here and go to this uh, documentation link, you can actually see the procedures for the developers on what they need to do to enable this. But this, this was just a quick video announcing this. I like I've said like three times, I'm so excited. And this is just one of the things that we were waiting for. And this alone, when it comes to overall adoption and the availability to actually use Linux on a daily basis for people is going to be something huge. Down below, I'm gonna go ahead and link this, this, and this if you are interested in reading more beyond this video. With all that said, thank you to our YouTube members and Patreon supporters, Mitchell Valentino, Phil Matt, Kyle, and Timo Anthony. Thank you all so much, and thank you to all the other Techie and Techie Plus members. If you're interested in supporting this channel, you could do so on Patreon, or just hit the little join button down below. With all of that said, have a beautiful day. I know I am, and goodbye.